This is WorkSpan TV. I'm Ryan Johnson from World at Work. We've got a case study today on recognition programs at the company that everybody loves to study these days, Google. I've got three experts here with me. They actually are Googlers. They work at Google. I've got Dr. Catherine Dikas, I've got Stephanie Tebow, and I've got Monica Davis. Welcome, ladies. Let me start with you, Monica. What prompted Google to look at its recognition programs? Two aspects that we looked into further. One was academic research. And what we found is that people are motivated to and buy money very differently. It's highly fragmented. And in order to understand the individual aspect of it, we really needed to look at the slice of compensation a bit more. The second part is we looked at our employee survey data and the results were clear that recognition was highly tied to people variables, for example, well-being. And well-being for us is Google or happiness. And due to that, we decided it was the time to start a small team and formalize a vision and get started on rebooting our recognition programs. So did you say you measure Google or happiness, Monica? Is that what I heard? That's what you heard. How does that happen? We have a survey. It's an annual employee survey that looks at a variety of different questions about their happiness, about their team, about hierarchy, about innovative work, and there are several questions and the, the survey is conducted on an annual basis and then we see the trend year over year. So Stephanie, the problem that had been identified, what were the next steps that you took? I break it into three key steps, all of which revolve around understanding what our users, Google employees, need. So our first step was that we identified that there actually was um, a business case for exploring recognition. Um, it's actually something that's very important to employees. For example, the team ran some really in-depth statistical analyses that suggest recognition is actually one of our strongest drivers of employee well-being. So after we'd built the business case, um, we began this iterative process of collecting more data and then incorporating it into our recognition design. So this included both um, external research conducted via academic literature reviews and internal research, for example, surveys, focus groups, and user experience studies. And then finally, um, once we've collected all that data, we were able to finalize on a technology solution that kind of incorporated the sum of all the feedback our users told us they wanted. Dr. Dikas, what was the most interesting takeaway from this process? We conducted a lot of research as part of this project spanning several months. And I would say for us, the most interesting finding boils down to the fact that people find experiences to be so powerful. And this manifests in two main ways. First is that the experience of being recognized, separate from any financial reward that comes along with it, is incredibly powerful and is a part of the process that is often overlooked. One anecdote that sticks with me is the example from a Google engineer who spoke about a post-it note where our head of engineering at the time had written a thank you note to him. And he had kept this post-it note on his computer for the better part of the time that he had worked at Google. And this was his example of the most meaningful recognition experience he had ever received. And it had nothing to do with a financial reward. The first piece, again, would be that the experience of being recognized is a really powerful tool in and of itself, separate from the reward. And then complementing that, if people spend their money from a recognition experience on um, an experiential reward rather than a material good, they tend to get a significantly more meaningful and valuable experience from that uh, expense. We now encourage our employees to, to the extent it makes sense for them, um, invest in experiences rather than just exclusively material goods. Monica, how would you articulate the vision of your program today? Three words meaningful, timely, and fun. So one, meaningful. Meaningful exchange of dialogue between the giver and the receiver. A meaningful award to the recipient. So making sure that the giver understands what will be meaningful to the recipient. Second is timely. And so it's best for the recognition to happen soon after the event or project has ended or the impact of the person has ended. And so it's we would it's suboptimal to give that recognition three months later or six or a year later. We really want the time to be right after the recognition event occurs. And then third is have fun. It's recognition. You want to share the experience and recognize and acknowledge that, and you want to do it in a fun manner. Think about the delivery that the giver is going to give to the recipient. Make it fun, make it casual, and make it meaningful. Stephanie, someone watching this, probably a lot like you, uh, is in a compensation or a total rewards role. 
they might be thinking, what are the first steps I should take? What advice would you give them? One thing we found to be really helpful is to stay really flexible and not remain wedded to any initial ideas. As you continue to collect more data, you'll refine your approach and the process that makes most sense. So what can other companies learn from your experience? At a very basic level, something that comes through pretty powerfully in this case is the power of approaching something from a data-driven perspective. So at Google, data is really a fa part of the fabric of our culture. And this has been the case since early, the early days when we were just starting the company. And it was very clear that even in a function like HR, where most of our products are internal, we were expected to be just as rigorous and just as focused on data as any other part of the company. So um, our internal products are still held to a very, very high standard. Standard, and our, we are expected to use data and analysis in all of those cases. This was certainly a huge part of the core of this project that we've done on recognition as well. And so I would say that one big takeaway for other companies would be, you know, conduct internal research, conduct, conduct external research, and really figure out what are the best practices that you can use that work in the context of your culture. Everything is data-driven at Google. Is there ever decisions that come from the gut? We like to use data to inform, but we like to make sure humans make the decision. So it's very important to situate any data that you have within the context of the data collection or the context in which you're working. And so we definitely try to make sure that all of our decisions are made based on data, but we don't let data make the decision. Terrific case study by obviously one of the premier companies right now, Google, and their recognition programs and the evolution of the recognition program. I want to thank my guests. And for WorkSpan TV and World at Work, this is Ryan Johnson.